Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's see what's going on. I heard if something don't feel right, don't force it. Okay. Some don't feel right, don't force it. That could be really like significant. People could like try to attack you because of like your beauty or like just your essence or something. Spiritual bath plan. So some of y'all do need to take like a like a spiritual bath or something something. Damn, where is this? Where is that at? Oh, there we go. I was trying to see where this one deck was at. I'm like, damn. Yeah, it says thought you were just beauty and giggles, it's giving beauty and brains. So yes, people could just I don't know, they be hating on you though. Like people could just feel like you were like almost like those blondes where they say dumb blondes. I'm not trying to come at nobody, but they say dumb blondes. Like that's like a a, a cle not a cliche, it's like a um what is that called? Like you damn near prejudges somebody, but it's like a stereotype is what I'm looking for. Thank you, source. Um but somebody could have like tried to like stereotype you or make maybe feel like you just wasn't who you were or like maybe judge you for your past or things that they heard through the grapevine about you but people are seeing now that you actually have more to give than what meets the eye yeah with blooming and unfolding like a lotus like you're actually going through some form of like an awakening or you're just blooming to who you really are and it's given like people could have not even gave you a chance to be who you really are like they judged you for the season that you were in whether the season that you were going to like they judged you for whatever season of your life that you they walked into. It says this reading will expose everything. So for some of you, it's like many big exposures that's coming to light. It says I'm not enough for you. So somebody already feels like they're not enough for you. Like they don't have enough or they're not enough. And then I ain't gonna lie, when people feel like they're not enough for you, they're gonna start treating you weird. Or they're gonna, uh, whether it's intentional or not, it's just because you guys are not on the same like vibration, or at least they don't feel like you. So then it's like they take it out on you. Some of y'all got like a pet um, that protects you from like low vibrational energy or protects you from someone who could have been um, trying to send you negative energy. Yeah, we got workplace drama. I'm a karmic home wrecker. I simply want what you have. So it could be somebody that could have been fucking with somebody in their workplace that could have been starting trauma or that could have been like had something to do with somebody at your workplace that was like a karmic homewrecker. It's definitely like a karmic homewrecker somewhere in here. Um, and I see sources telling you to stand up for yourself in a situation. Like you could have helped somebody heal more than you know in a situation. But it's like maybe you were kind of like coddling this person or like not trying to like hurt them or I don't know. But I feel like more so you've been doing enough. You did enough in a situation or for somebody um and now it's like you need to stand your ground on something uh, especially if sticking up for yourself or standing up for yourself like you could have helped somebody to heal more than you know but they could have tried to make it seem like you didn't or like you know like you were the issue you weren't these cards just be flying baby i hmm. water sign is coming towards you so some of you got like a pisces cancer scorpio with a eye on you or that's coming towards you we got the initials d e x y z so you could be dealing with somebody with the initials d e x y or z that um wants to come towards you it says it's your destiny so somebody that may want to come in but damn it says coming in to cause conflict i would be careful especially if it's like a water sign coming in for some of y'all this person could just want to start conflict in like your life in general a relationship that you're in a relationship that you want to go towards i would be careful because somebody could literally just be trying to start shit um we got new beginning victim mentality. So some of y'all have to had to release like a victim mentality to obtain like this new beginning that source was trying to call you in for. Yeah, we somebody would could have been going around trying to like steal off of you. I'm hearing to monetize too. This could be like online. Like you could have been dealing with people who um were like stealing your statuses word for word or trying to copy and paste. So like and it's because they were trying to like monetize off of your gifts or like your you know your words or something like that. I feel like somebody did try to like throw somebody off about you. Some of y'all. Yeah, we got Cardi B get up 10. It's like people could have been trying to like, I heard like almost like downplay you or attack or target your success with jealous friend. For some of you, this was like a jealous friend or somebody that you knew at one point, but it's like you still gonna go where you need to go. So something didn't work. Something that somebody was trying to do did not work. We said, let nothing stop you from following your dreams. Persevere. So to some of you, this is what you were being told to do. To persevere. 
beyond whatever this was that's how you're gonna get to this like that cardi b energy of get up 10 like um damn they're making your life like it's giving like self-made you, you moving into something new um and you could have yeah we got karmic sibling here that came out of my other reading too um it says jealous sabotaging vibes and this karmic sibling could still be kind of almost like trying to sabotage somebody's happiness or some of you could have been dealing with like a karmic sibling broke as hell this person could be like down in their luck or broke as hell again it could have been like a past lover that was like broke as hell for some of y'all though sources telling you no matter what you go through what type of karmic energy is trying to sabotage you you're still gonna win I don't know who this person is that's like broke as hell. That source is damn near. It says you're cutting ties. It says you see past this imposter and you can't be fooled. Playing in your, it says you're playing your part wisely and cutting ties. So for some of you, this is what you've been doing. Like you've been cutting ties with people who damn near have been playing in your energy. I'm hearing they want to treat you a certain way, but you can't stand up for yourself or you can't damn near like when you start moving different, that's when people all of a sudden see that something ain't right. But you ain't see that it wasn't right when you was doing it to me though. Hmm. So it says karma is hitting their finances. So whoever was like trying to sabotage you with fake apology here, yeah, they could be coming around trying to apologize to you, give you a fake energy. And it says the situation is being handled over. For some of you, it could have been like a karmic sibling, brother or sister. Doesn't really matter. But this person could be trying to hit you up now, give you a fake ass apology because they want something from you. And I'm also hearing just in general, it doesn't have to be a sibling. This could be anybody who like you cut ties where you kind of distanced yourself from. You knew that they did you wrong. They knew that they did you wrong. Now it's like they see that they're not something about finances. People could be feeling like they see that you're thriving driving um it says they were in your energy manifesting against your blessings and very close to you so this is somebody who's very close to you this is somebody who could have seen you like you get a new job and low-key you tell this person and they're like i hope they fucking lose that job like i hope i hope i hope this person can't show up to work i hope on their way to work like they get in a crisis you would be surprised just how weird somebody was being towards your manifestation and using you for resources it's definitely giving like opportunist energy like somebody was only around you to like say they were going through it like they didn't have nowhere to stay and they're like okay oh well, i know this person got a nice heart they're gonna let me stay with them or like um say like uh, uh yeah like lovers do it too like this person like what they call it homosexuals um they don't have no money but whatever this is how you gonna know who it is like they broke they broke they can't keep money like they could they can make like five hundred dollars a day but they lose it just as quickly they it's like it, it's like water they can't it's nothing that can grow they can't save up for like say they can't save up for a house because this person's money don't stick it don't stay they always got bill after bill it's like something about this person like they keep finding themselves not being able to find their footing and that's their karma for playing on your top. I'm hearing also for trying to take something from you with karmic sister. For some of y'all, damn, this came out of my other reading. It's a karmic sister. It is, it is, it is. And it's like this karmic sister. It came out as karmic sibling and karmic sister. Like, it's what's T. And it said that everything was going to be revealed in this reading. Did it not? So what's T? I'm hearing no T, no shade, but somebody's karmic sister. <laughs> You're being protected from this karmic sister, or for some of you, this is just maybe somebody that say it's not a blood sister, but it's somebody that you consider like a it's somebody close to you. This ain't nobody that you just met within the last year. This is a close ass person. It's somebody that you've known or that's very close to you. You would consider them like damn near like okay, you ain't you ain't blood, but you family or you you know pop up. Somebody want to pop up on you, or they may pop up on you like unexpectedly without asking. This could be this karmic sister. Like, somebody wants to come around you just to use you for your resources. All of a sudden, I'm hearing, like, now, like, like, they weren't checking for you before. Whoever this could be. And this is why you're in Europe. You're being protected from whoever these people are, okay? I mean, they, they ain't getting no fuck when they thought you weren't. You ain't have shit going for you. Yeah, I, I was feeling this, too. It's a jealous, possessive lover for some of y'all. Because for every day, a jealous sister for everybody. Like, everybody ain't got a sister that be hating on them. Don't be out here damn near starting shit with your sister. And she did shit to you now. But it says don't feel sorry for them because they ain't give a fuck when it was you. And I, I felt that. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. With low IQ. Maybe it's for some of you. This was a jealous ass possessive lover. Slow as hell. They got a low IQ. They not even smarter than you. But they steadily was trying to get over on you. And that's why they want to be broke as a joke. Yeah. See here tomorrow. Please. I just have nowhere to go tonight. Well, you better go to the shelter and hope that they got room for one more. Because you ain't staying here. Yeah, with pop up. Somebody going to want to. I'm I'm hearing that. What is that? That that uh, is this? What is that? That that damn. It's like a trend that be going around now. When they be like, when you step back, when you see that blah blah blah, they be like blank blank blank, or they fill in the blanks. Me taking the biggest step back when this person don't value me. Me taking the biggest. That's what I'm getting. Like y'all took a big ass step back when you realize like somebody was like, yeah, they were very jealous very possessive over you damn near in competition with you damn near manifesting against whatever you got going on this person had a lot of childhood wounds that they needed to heal and this is why they were treating you weird and low iq like this person 
manic. And this person, they're never going to try to pop up on you like in a manic state. It says you can walk away at any time. Being stuck is only an illusion. And damn near was just saying that in like my last reading. For some of you like that could have been dealing with a situation that you just knew was like outdated. You knew that it was time to leave something or somewhere out in the cold. But controlling. Like this person wanted to control you. I feel like that goes hand in hand with my last reading. Um, or somebody that was around you, that source was just like, no, that this could have had like a stronghold on you at first. And it's like, maybe for some of you with the sacred energy, you could have been sleeping with this person. You gave a lot of your divines, maybe for some of you that this was a lover, this sacred, uh, this sacral chakra energy, they were draining like your sacral chakra, like, but don't ignore the red flags because somebody was showing you, yeah, the air sign could be an air sign. This is an air sign that's coming towards you. They were showing you all the red flags. It says, when I get out, I'm on your ass. And this could be somebody who's like planning something against you. Or like maybe they were locked up or maybe they were in spiritual jail. You ain't getting out, boo. Not on my watch. <laughs> and as in that, I mean, like, the divine. The divine is not going to let this person get within 10 miles. I'm here. Like, this person is going to have to watch out. Maybe they did, like, pop up on you. Or, but there's something about someone, whether it was this karmic sister, this jealous, possessive lover, they really wanted to control you. You control your life, control the way you viewed yourself, view them, view other things that you did. Like, it almost made me say something. But I'm not. Healing sexual trauma for many of you. Like, yeah, you were sleeping with this person with the throat chakra here. Speak up. Stand your ground. Speak up for yourself. This person, what the hell? It says you see past this imposter and you cannot be fooled. And this is what this person was. They kept trying to like get you not to trust your intuition when it came to them with cutting ties. Like you knew damn near but broke as hell. Like you had to cut ties with this person. You knew that this person damn near was like um full of shit. Like you, you just knew that. Like this person could have been trying to make it seem like, oh no. Um, it's just something that wasn't right. I feel like something just wasn't right about a person that was in your energy or that you're cutting ties with now or the divine is help, helping you to release. And again, it's about this person. Finances, they finna, they finna see something adding you and following you to be nosy. They could have had karmic energies adding and following you to be nosy or this person did that. Or like a big karmic sister or this karmic lover. It's like people were just in your energy, period, because they want to see what you got going on because you have a lot going on. And you could be somebody who's like very silent. It says don't believe everything you hear. Yeah, motherfuckers lying. My folks can't be trusted with the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, and this is why people want to pop up on you because you're being blessed and highly favored with the pop up. Like you're being blessed. You're being given some form of like financial help. Somebody could be going into like sales, a salesperson. Yeah, why this person goes into a lot of bad karma with self-made. What was I saying? Self-made, literally. Wow. So whoever is getting this bad karma, it's like they could want to tie themselves to you because you are self-made. While I see that you could be focusing more on your goals and aspirations, but somebody's going to be getting a lot of bad karma and it's going to specifically be hitting their finances because I do feel like this person, I don't know, maybe they wanted to use you for your finances and resources, but it's like, okay. So I saw this person's heart. It says any moment now. So some of y'all, y'all gonna see somebody go through like a very big, like almost like tower moment or something's gonna kind of like be exposed. Yeah, we got your boss wants you. For some of you, it could be like a boss energy who kind of wants to come towards you. This could be why you're going into this Ace of Pentacles. Like somebody could just want to like help you to level up, give you like a promotion, help you. Damn it, I'm here and give you a chance that maybe other people didn't give you. Um, it's something about you being so focused on your goals and aspirations that could be turning somebody on. If they see that you're in a self-made energy, you're making something happen for yourself. And again, somebody could have been trying to like in the past control you because they saw your potential and they didn't see that in themselves. Um, but this person going to be getting bad karma. Ooh, you are somebody who could have like a lot of rare gifts. I don't know. It says not the one for you. So it's sort of trying to tell you that somebody really wasn't just, it just wasn't for you. And this person could spy on you a lot or um watch you alive for some of y'all it, it could have been like a karmic practitioner or, or reader in a situation somebody could be like an exotic dancer or somebody i don't know if somebody like treated with like an exotic dancer but somebody could have been like an exotic dancer or you could be but it could have been like a karmic practitioner or somebody that i feel like is stalking somebody too like you wondering like why your life kind of felt a little iffy i'm not saying this person had any power to change anything but it was like somebody could have been sending you direct like evil eye because it literally says a karmic practitioner or reader um Somebody that uses their gifts in the wrong way and it says they're watching you. Literally, watching you is better than TV for this person. Like, somebody has, a, like, a karmic reader or a practitioner that you would be surprised. Like, you got this person blocking everything. Like, you just didn't, you didn't sit well with this person. It's something that uh, or maybe, like, um, it's just, I don't know. This is a karmic energy. Like, maybe you don't even know. This person could have hired a karmic, like, practitioner to, like, do something to you. Then this person started watching you. But somebody's, like, really entertained with you. Like, this person is, it's, it's giving, like, a sick obsession. 
Like it could have been a situation again, like somebody hired like a reader, like they got a reading on you, then this reader was like tapping into your energy and seeing that like you are somebody who's very gifted. Damn near, I heard like you, the reader saw 1444 on my mama. Yep. It's like somebody hired like a karmic practitioner or a reader, and that's the angel number of protection. But you were protected. Like this person could have they began like the wrong information on you too. But I'm here. Source allowed this person to see that you were like of the light. This is source allowed a reader or a practitioner to see that much. First of all, they allowed this person to see that yeah, this is not at like everybody else that you be putting these little spells on that you be trying to tap into. Like this person is actually going to be very very like I don't know. I was going to say rich damn near. Like somebody could be going into like a very like financially stable energy with self made and that get up ten energy. Um, I don't know if somebody tried to like pay a practitioner or a reader. I even heard like a reader or a practitioner ghosted somebody. Like they could have been getting spell work. Like they were working, workings I'm hearing, but they ghosted somebody because again, like I said, source allowed like a practitioner or somebody to see that you were not the bad person in the situation or that shit. You tried if you want to, I'm here. Like you go ahead and put spell work on this person if you want to. Like somebody could have sat back really damn near did they homework on your ass. Like at first this person could have thought like, oh, you know, they, yeah, I do, I do spell work and my clients come to me. But then it's something that made this person sit back and start watching your ass. They ain't want no smoke. They ain't want no smoke. Let me tell you why they ain't want no smoke. Because you've been crowned. Like, this is what source allowed. Whatever this karmic practitioner, reader, or whoever this karmic energy that damn near be like, they spiritual or something, or they're false spiritualists. It's like, whoever this person was, it says baby mama, baby daddy drama. So, some of y'all, this could have been like a baby daddy that tried to like put spell work on somebody. You'd be surprised. Like, you was like, damn, my own baby daddy, my own baby mama. Yes. Yes. Well, don't worry. Like, I'm here, like, whoever the practitioner is, yes, they're karmic. They're fucking karmic. I'm not saying they are the light at all because it literally says they're karmic. But they, they're they karmic, but they're not, like, slow. Like, they're karmic. They know that they, if I send spell work, I touch this person. Like, yeah, I, I, I know something about some, but I know enough to know it's going to come back and bite me in the ass. Like, it's going to come back because you are somebody who spiritually... I heard you outrank whoever that reader or that practitioner was that somebody could have tried to pay. Somebody's person could have even been like a practitioner them damn selves. Like, and maybe like your first you was like, I don't know. If I leave this person, like every time I try to break up with them, I sh my life starts going to hell and shit start fucking up. And like, yeah. But Source was seeing everything and you've been crowned. I feel like more so, yeah, with camp, karmic. Because some of y'all literally, it says karmic family and friends are ghosts or cut others off for ego boost. You could have had karmic family and friends that were doing this shit to you, bread from you, ghosting you, or just not being there for you in the way that you need it. And you cut these people off. You did. It says blessings and abundance overflow in your life. Be patient. So for some of you, yeah, and it says struggling financially. So some of y'all, it's like, it's a clear disconnect between you and those people from your past, whether it was karmic family members, karmic sisters, a karmic lover. Like it's going to be a clear difference. And you know why? Because it's the source. The divine has put you on a pedestal, baby. I'm here for everybody to see because your enemies will be made as your footstool. What's, what's Source say? I'm, I'm, I'm damn near gonna bless you in the midst of your enemies. Don't fuck around because Source mean what Source be seeing. So some of y'all could be doing like shadow work. And this is why these karmic friends and family, you've outgrown them. They can't connect to you no more. They don't understand you no more. These lovers don't understand you no more, but they have to watch you grow. And they could be taking that as like a direct hit against them. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. It says a reader told them false information, fake spiritualist or practitioner what did i say and this came out in two different cards what are the odds that as that it's like a karmic reader or somebody somebody could have been getting like false information from somebody who didn't even know what they were doing and maybe they did know what they were doing but it's like source was cloaking your energy so that a reader could not fully see all that you were and i'm even getting like again source let somebody see enough into a situation to know that like you were of the light you were of the divine but it definitely could have been somebody that got like a reader from like a karmic practitioner or like, again, it could have been for some of you, it was a karmic practitioner just targeting you. Like this person, maybe they, maybe you read cards too. And it was like another reader because it says a reader. And this could have been like a reader that was going around. Like maybe they didn't like you or maybe they tried to get to your person or like tell somebody something like, oh, this person, like, um, I see that they're going to be like down on their luck or like, um, somebody could have been trying to make it seem like they could prophesy what you had to come in the future. Go fast. Goof ass. I'm hearing damn near everything that they were speaking over you. I heard somebody kept saying, like, give it three months. Give it three months. This person not going to even have a car. They not going to have a house. I heard within them three months, that person lost everything that they thought you were going to lose and some. Wow. Wow. And that's how swords get down. Because you were sitting here, I'm hearing, like, it's, it's damn near, like, defamation of character in the spiritual realm. That's a big offense. Especially on the earth, angel. I'm hearing that maybe that's not something that you could have, you had the evidence or you could have took to court. And swords was like, bad. We got it. We're inner child healing. Because swords don't play about you. That same, like, you were a child and that parent that protects his child, that's how Source feels about you. So Source is like, bets, you're not going to do this. You're not. So whoever this karmic reader was that's in this reading, like, yeah, somebody finna be getting, like, they, they be. I'm here embarrassed. Because somebody could be losing a lot. And, like, in front of people that they were talking about YouTube, it says, let go of this washed up dusty. So some of y'all, this was, like, a, a lover that was going around, like, maybe getting false information from, like, a reader 
conscious this is a dusty situation period like something is dusty i heard that it wasn't even making you happy or something like that so something something about somebody feeling like if you try to leave them they were going to try to destroy you because right after you leave them that's when your will of fortune comes in literally so somebody was trying to like be strategic with you or something like that but you were being genuine with them but i feel like you're still going to go through like a metamorphosis or a change and somebody could want to come towards you guys now um that you haven't like spoken to in a while but it says people are noticing and seeing how conniving and calculated they are. So whoever this person was that was trying to go against y'all, whether be it a karmic reader, practitioner, lover, sister, friend, people know that this person is a fucked up individual. Like they know that. And I'm hearing people not just noticing it, but they like understanding like, okay, um, this person actually do people like that. Like this is actually in this person's character, like, or something like that, but looking for dirt on you. And this is why they wanted to get dirt on you. This is why they wanted to muck up like your type of like, you got a will of fortune and you got good karma. And they want to like trade spaces or places with you like if you leave me, I'll try to destroy you. I'm here, and they don't just gotta be lovers. That's people who just feel like if you if you try to do better for yourself, say you like again, you're relocating, relocating, and it's like all of a sudden, so many karmic family members got so much to say about you and the past, and like, but where was this energy? Like, I don't know. It's like people could have been, and again, like they waited, yeah, with any moment now for somebody like your boss is gonna be trying to like shoot they shot at you, or you got like a boss that maybe there was your boss before, but they're not anymore. Like somebody could be wanting like to wait to like come towards you. This person could have like a dog. I don't know, somebody could be getting caught for like fraud activity. Somebody could be in, involved in some form of like fraud. And maybe they were trying to make it seem like, I don't know, this person was trying to make it seem like they just was innocent. They never do no wrong. But then it's like, this could be somebody who literally like, that's their character. Like you steal from people. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you know, there was just fraud energies. Like somebody was just a fraud. They weren't who they were pretending to be that says you look so different now. So somebody could not have seen you in a while. And now they like wanting to come back around. Yeah, be careful of a fraud energy. This person could be like very manic when they come back into your energy. So I'm gonna stop there. I feel like somebody has been getting warnings to stop um whatever actions they've been taking against you. I heard like painfully, like this person could see the truth, but they're not almost like heeding the warning. I don't know if somebody thought it was like a joke. Mm. collective thank you for coming in for my collective knowing that you are complete you've completed a cycle too i'm hearing again like somebody was trying to make it seem like you was the fry the whole time is them forging a new path like yeah you're moving forward as you forge a new path for yourself you're not doing it the same way that people have done it before you yeah, this may be getting under their door and they're under their skin with the doors open. Yes, when source open that door, you better run through it. I heard people felt like you ran out of their lives, like you damn near didn't leave, like you didn't even give it like a second thought. The fuck? Why would I? Let's, big ass doors just open and one was in room. No, I'm finna go. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Contemplate on some shit where I've already seen the truth about certain people and their hearts and how they feel about me or again, for some of you, you're learning that you are complete though. Maybe ain't nobody do shit to you. Just it's just about you. It's about you forging a new path for yourself and walking through this door of change. Something about your intention. It says life is great. You know, life is a gift. So, yeah. It's like a lot is unfolding for you, it says here. So, you need to seize the opportunities and every chance that's coming. Literally, what the door is open is giving like sources going to open a door of opportunity for you. For some of y'all, it could have to do with like a boss giving you like a opportunity or somebody that can literally open the door for you to go to a new level. I heard stop, 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 stop second guessing yourself and stop playing small, okay? So I play it small because you're going to feel like a pull to go towards a certain direction or or like damn near like, I don't know, some source is going to open a door for you that may have been closed before. I'm hearing you're not going to have like without agenda. Like this person not going to have like a an ulterior motive. They're not going to have like a negative agenda that like they're trying to like, oh, I just want to give this person an opportunity so I can sleep with them and being kind of like, you know, like it's not going to be like that. I'm here. Yeah, it's not gonna be like that so understand that life is a gift and new opportunities can come at any moment so when that door opens go for it we got the embodiment here oh it's talking about making your mark um something about you guys need to act on like these and do it your way it says simple life simplify life some of y'all could need to pack like um something about being like a 
what is those people that don't that don't have a lot like they're called like it's like i don't know it's damn near like you you, you kind of simple you don't it's, it's it's what's the word something is something is i think something like minimalist i know it was is <laughs> i know what one of the is is one of the is <laughs> a minimalist like yeah whatever you're going towards um whoever i feel like this person is not going to have like a, a an arterial motive or negative agenda it says miracles in the dark and time to act simplify your life a deeper world do it your way like you're doing something your way i'm here stop looking at other people for like answers and like because they could be sending you clean off because they know am i saying it's on purpose but maybe that's just how that far they saw themselves going like no i wouldn't go to that state that you want to go to but damn near maybe that's the state source for that help your ass to take off in like your life gonna change there that's the state where your vibration could raise the highest it is it's damn near in alignment with your geograph or whatever i heard it's something like that in your chart where you could see where you would thrive more and it's like somebody could tell you like no i wouldn't go to you know i heard a lot of bad shit be happening there well that's not somewhere i would want to go why would you want to go it's like that's not it's not for them so stop asking people about like something that you're meant to do for yourself or you're meant to like pave the way for yourself something about your inner strength coming to the forefront right now you're stronger than you know baby i feel like you need to focus on change right now shift your attitude your mindset your energy because you have everything you need and again something or someone was throwing you off look starlight you have a certain starlight to you let that guide you like a three wise man baby okay starlight with soul awakening for some of you that's that blooming like a lotus energy you're going through from some form of like an awakening with instant manifestations manifestations coming in back to back i'm here as you as you shine your lights it says, don't slow down manifesting through hesitation or worry. Keep the faith and create light in the dark. The path of the stars is made by the same energy. For some of you guys, yeah, you don't slow down right now because you're in this fiery energy or something that's going to come in. It's going to be very good for you. And again, with miracles in the dark, it's going to be like a miracle. And it could come in your, like your darkest moment or when you're going through something like very dark and you feel very alone, you feel very lost. I mean, through that moment or through that time, maybe that's when you need to act. Don't let something that you're feeling or feeling like, oh, damn, the situation is just, you know, no. I'm hearing like that's actually that's what's going to bring this change in for you. Um, maybe um, yeah, with the pause is the shift. Wow, with the spark of life for some of you, this is actually like a this void energy that you're in. You're in a, like a stage of like initiation where that pause is leading you towards like a shift, momentary pause. I'm hearing. But just starlight that you're in, this energy of starlight is helping you to awaken to your own inner strength, your own inner power. It says you're irresistible um, when your mind and your heart post in the same rhythm. For some of y'all, y'all finna be so irresistible to your own manifestations. People you don't even know. Like, people finna just be finding themselves just so pulled and, like, attracted to you and don't know why. Because you're in the right vibration. Your soul has awakened and it's something about your starlight where people just want to kind of, like, connect to you. So it was some type of pause that you were going through. And it says life is a gift again. So it's like realizing that this moment is a gift, that life is a gift. And it could, it can be beautiful. It's not just negative and things that have happened in the past, unless you focus on that. So for some of you, you're being told to trust your feelings. If you don't trust certain people or certain things in, a, in life, or again, if you just view life as like, no one can be trusted, everybody's out to get me, then that's what you're going to get. But if you feel like maybe some people just not for you, just some people, not not everybody, you know, then it's okay. That's cool. And it's like, trust your feelings. Or if your feelings is telling you to go left, or yeah, receiving it all. Like, go left, baby, because you're finna receive it all. Like, somebody's finna receive more than what you bargained for. I'm here. You get more bang for your buck, okay? You deserve to receive abundance in all full capacity. Believe in your worth and trust that the universe is ready to deliver all that you desire. Open up. Like, yeah, source, life, source, source is telling somebody, source is directly telling somebody, baby, you gotta open up. You gotta open up to get what I'm finna give you, okay? And whatever way, shape, or form that could be coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this Alice in the Wonderland day. Something about the number 13, 13 days, 13 weeks. Somebody could be born on the 13th. Cut the deck at the Ace of Pentacles with the Moon card. You could be getting a financial blessing soon. Something about the number that's at the bottom. Something about the number 13 with the empath here. Like you definitely could be like an empath. Maybe you, you could be like, maybe somebody was like a karmic spiritualist that was targeting you because you are a true empath. You are a true like reader, a true spiritualist, a true seer, truth speaker. I'm here, a seeker. And it's like somebody could have been an like ace of swords, baby. You are a true seeker and speaker. And it's, this is why like a karmic practitioner or a reader was like so fucking hell bent on stalking you and watching you because you are everything that they're not. 
you and say this is that karmic practitioner like this is somebody who goes through like finessing people just to get money and like they're not really they don't really see shit in their future and they be making shit up as they go that's why they couldn't really see shit about you but they saw enough and they could have been lying to somebody or just lying on your character lying on you and this person like you are the truth ace of swords coming out you are the truth with the hierophant here i heard you taking action towards again things that are clear to you with the hermit you could have been in hermit mode we got virgo energy out here again what it says the pause is the shift so some of you need to go into hermit mode something about shrooms could be significant something about an enlightenment or awakening that you're going to go through is going to send you so it's the chariot it's going to help you to move forward with the emperor here to enlighten you with the queen of pentacles okay so the messenger you could be getting a message queen of pentacles from an emperor energy it could be an aries you could be a, a capricorn towards virgo or earth sign <laughs> So, yeah, with the Chariot and the Ace of Cups, heavy Cancer energy here. Um, I do see new love coming in for some of you. This could be what's coming in rather quickly. I feel like, yeah, this, this empath, you were the healer for everybody else. You felt everything for everybody else. And I feel like now is your time to kind of see what it's like to kind of be the one that's being healed. Be the one that's being carried. Be the one that you don't have to be there for everybody else now because this person is going to be there for you for your every time you call it. This person picks up like you didn't have that before with the Ace of, um, the Ace of Cups and the empath here. Like, it's time for you to receive. And again, it could have been a thing with the Six of Wands, literally, where people were playing on, like, that empathic energy that you hold within you. Eight of Wands. You're going to get some form of communication pretty soon, though. Queen of Pentacles. I didn't cut this deck twice at this Queen of Pentacles, nah. I feel like that's the energy you sit in. You're very down to earth. You're very, and I don't know, it's something about every time I see this card, like people could have judged you for your outside appearance at one point. Maybe you did not look what people would perceive as like the best or like, again, I'm hearing like beauty is in the eye of the beholder though. Everybody's beautiful to somebody. So just because one person or somebody thought that you weren't like what they wanted or like enough for them, it does not mean that that was true, period. With the six of wands and the ace of cups, baby, you're going to get some form of like some type of communication that's coming in for you. This could just be good news. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, baby. This is giving like you are going to be viewed. Like a lot of people are going to be watching you receive with the High Priestess with the strength. I'm telling you. And with this High Priestess energy, you could be like a reader, a seer. Again, remember I was kind of picking that up. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're just you're somebody who trusts your intuition. You trust with the strength card. Like it's giving like you know they say Leo is on the heart of the zodiac. So it's something about you trusting your heart. You having the courage to trust your heart with the will of fortune to go towards change. Ace of Pentacles, and this is what opened you up for a new level of abundance. Why these motherfuckers are gonna be in lack financially with the sun card here? Toto is a very loyal energy, like that dog energy is like it's supposed to be like loyalty. So especially if it was like lovers in the past who act like they didn't see your worth, like they didn't want to give you, like they could breadcrumb you, like that shit was cool. Man, leave these dusty ass motherfuckers in the past before I get mad. Cause like let's be for real, you coming out as the sun energy, you are the light. You are the light. So now you get to decide, like, what are you wanting to accept? What are you wanting to put up with? And you have the strength to trust your intuition, trust your guidance. But this Ace of Pentacles, I want to see specifically, like, what that is. It's something about, like, wish fulfillment that's going to be coming in for you. After maybe a time of almost like... Feeling full of disappointment. The message, the messenger came out again. So it's like something about good news or a message. Heavy on like a message. You could literally be getting like a message that you weren't expecting from somebody that like. It's like a success. Something that you know that something is going to be a success. Or that something is something that you've always wanted. What is this message with the six of swords? Something that's going to help you to move into karma waters. Maybe about something that you were like. Again, maybe you were worried about something a little bit. Or maybe you were just asking for something that's going to help you to move forward. It's going to give you what you want. For some of y'all, you're going to have to leave something or someone else out in the cold though. Or like, you know, you always got to release something to move towards or receive something else. So I see whatever you're moving towards, the Ace of Wands, is going to actually be a very... It's, it's giving like very magical... It's giving fairy godmother type of energy of your wish being granted with the with the world card. But be careful because I was even hearing like um I don't know why I'm getting like the energy of like um that that episode with like Fiona when she was marrying uh, Shrek and she came and she 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 introduced him to her parents and they was like trying to fuck shit up for them and they didn't they put like a spell on them or something like that no or so, they did something to them to make them kind of like or they were just damn near getting in their ear. But I think didn't the father put like a spell on the mother to be with her? So it was all type of weird shit. Somebody could have been doing like spell work to be with somebody with the messenger here with the world card. Um, but remember, like the father was trying to make Shrek feel like he was not good enough for her. 
like he had to change he had to level up or he had to but that was all manipulation or whatever they them, they were actually soulmates like a, a whole time are you supposed to be with that girl mother because you doing spell work remember he turned into like a frog i think he was like a frog before and it's like this frog on his car is kind of so i don't know if somebody could have been realizing like some type of spell work was like done to keep somebody stuck in a situation keep them stuck a uh, situation it's like somebody's being moved out of a situation i'm even getting like i don't know for some of y'all you could have been like remember prince charming was the one that was trying to make it seem like he was her lover he was the one that was for her but really prince charming just wanted didn't he just want to be king he literally just wanted the title of being king so i don't know if it was something that, like somebody was trying to use you for like your cloud or use you for like a level up use you to get to a certain position in life or something like that with the world card here and i feel like you were being protected like or something like that you could see something clearly now or again it's like she saw through because she knew that he wasn't her real soulmate like no you just you know you look good you got the, the money or whatever but i'm more comfortable with shrek because we're like one in the same or something like that so page of swords like yeah the full card some of y'all gonna be taking like a leap of faith or somebody's watching you it's giving like people watching you take a leap of faith temperance could be a sad series you could be or a sad series is like watching somebody i feel like you're taking a leap of faith and people are seeing you as like a very balanced with the hierophant literally taurus energy you're somebody again who is very connected to the divine and somebody could be like watching this happen how are they feeling about this with justice like people feel like this is actually justified like seeing you win like people could be um it's almost even like even if they wanted to be salty these people know like the tower it could be causing tower moments for them but they know at the end of the day it's kind of giving like they got to give it to you like almost like people who damn near feel like you deserve to win right now or you deserve like i heard like you could you found your peace again with the temperance and justice is two balanced cards like somebody was like very imbalanced in the past but now people see maybe you went on like a spiritual path with the hierophant and the justice card and again it's given like maybe a lot of chaotic shit that you went through was very divinely guided but people can see now that like okay it's given like you went through a spiritual war with the jabberwocky energy here I'm like light and dark or you could have battled your light and your dark side and again somebody it's like you won some form of like spiritual warfare that people could have witnessed you going through like real time shit or someone in particular at least with the two of cups could have been somebody you were in a relationship with at one point or maybe there was a lot of spiritual warfare between you and your partner i'm here for some of you or a lover because of like spell work or something like that or just in your love life in general with yeah well, look this is a witch this is a fucking witch it's a witch so for some of you, that's your answer. Like, that's your answer that maybe that's why shit was tumultuous because somebody was trying to put spells on you, maybe to be with them, maybe to not have a certain lover be with you. Again, it could have been another masculine that was trying to like target somebody's spell, I mean, target somebody's love life. Maybe they went to this karmic reader or practitioner and they thought they could get you back or get the answers they wanted, but it's like somebody was like sending them all. It just was making shit worse. And I'm getting like, for some of you, that's just like why something went wrong with you and a lover or something like that with the king of swords and the five of wands. Could have been like an air sign. Maybe an air sign was doing spell work or this was the one that you were with. Let's see what's going on with this king of swords. Um, so something about an investment, something about metamorphosis. So somebody could be going through a metamorphosis with a tower card here, some type of it's divine intervention to bring a change in a situation or something could have maybe not been meant to stay in your life forever or something was not on stable grounds. Because this could have been with the magician here. This could have been a Gemini. Maybe a Gemini was the one who was doing like spell work on somebody. Let's see what stance this King of Swords had in this connection or in a period. This is, person is coming out as like an emperor energy. This is person one. We have the page of cups. And we have the empress here so i feel like okay for some of you this this king of swords maybe there were a lot a lot of conflict between you and the king of swords do the spell work with the magician here with the, with the emperor and the empress let's see what is this king of swords the same with the moon card i feel like is this king of is this emperor and it's the same as this, with the devil mm, we got pisces cancer capricorn energy out here with the knight of wands Somebody, I don't know, is this like what is this King of Swords energy? What's this true energy? What's this King of Swords true energy? You need to protect yourself from like a King of Swords or something because I don't feel like this is your emperor. This could have been somebody who was pretending to be your emperor under the guise of like maybe having a union with you. It's given like again that Prince Charming energy for some of y'all with judgment. And again, that's the Jabberwocky. So it's given like judgment day to where you have to defeat somebody. Remember, Alice is actually the only one who defeated the Jabberwocky. So it's given like something was your purpose to like defeat like a high level car maker with the devil. Could have been a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. It's just given like something was low key. Like maybe somebody was hiding that they were a car maker or that something was like. Um, I feel like with this emperor and this empress energy, it could have been like a union or something like that that's coming to like an end or somebody was trying to like use spell work. 
I heard spell word doing works, doing workings to cause like restriction, ref whatever between you and a lover. Like that could have been significant. Like somebody was literally like doing spell work, and it could have been like a karmic reader, a karmic practitioner. This damn lover could have been doing it themselves, and then that's what was fucking shit up even more. Um, I feel like somebody's also jealous of like a level of success that you're about to walk into, because you're gonna leave them behind, or they're gonna feel like that with judgment here. When the eight of cups, like somebody's gonna feel like you almost like left them, like this energy. We're not in Kansas anymore. Like you left them, like a hometown, like some somewhere, or like you just left them behind with judgment here again. Like somebody felt like you called judgment on them. Eight of wands, six of wands, baby. And I, I just feel like something's gonna come in quickly for you. Ace of cups, and it could be new love. Like somebody gonna be salty. I'm trying to tell you, drink me. Somebody gonna wanna eat, breathe, drink all at you. Like they're not gonna be able to get enough of you. And this could be very hidden right now because somebody is not meant to see that. I'm feeling like the empress. I mean, Empress, you could be not meant to see this right now um, for a good reason, whatever reason by the divine, but I'm even getting like people that were in your energy or a specific person, they were not meant to see this. And again, you could be getting like fake apologies from like lovers or like family members soon because you're finally in this Empress energy. And again, you have victories coming in that somebody did try to stop something or slow something down with spell work. It says the wicked witch's possessions on that card. Something was on hold. Somebody, some stuff like was like practitioner or like um, somebody tried to hold something back. I feel like it's a new love for coming in for you. You could be like a Taurus, a Libra. You don't have to be, but you are showing as this Empress energy. And I do feel like somebody wants to slow down your manifestations, baby, a four of wands. Somebody didn't want you to get a lover. I don't even think it's like somebody didn't want you to get a new job. Somebody didn't want you to meet a new friend. Somebody specifically did not want you to get this Ace of Cups, four of wands. With Toto here again, because somebody was going to be very loyal to you. Or is going to be, or will be, is. It's something here about like somebody being, or, or particularly, and it could be like a jealous ass family member or like practitioner. You could have a practitioner in your family that's like very jealous or something like that again but like when you when you go through it like a new cycle when you go through it's like somebody knows remember i said source let somebody see enough to know that you were like you were gonna win or something like that or that you were a good person and i do get again with this four of wands ace of cups like yeah baby four of wands ace of cups six of swords high priestess king of cups could be a pisces that's coming in for somebody we got the moon here too heavy pisces energy or cancer i feel like this person's trusting their intuition and they're feeling very guided towards you what does this person want with my collective Ooh. okay so we did have the three of swords come out reverse somebody could want to help you heal from like a heartbreak let's see what is this what is this king of cups one with my collective with the world card yeah somebody wants to help you to close out a past cycle or like heal from heartbreak or something like that this person could literally i would just say trust your intuition though you're moving things into common waters and again this person could be coming in as like a i heard like a, a damn like an angel hmm so this could be somebody with the page of swords like the divine has sent to help you to like close out a cycle and like heal how many y'all gonna be getting like communication from this person soon i don't feel like things are gonna be on hold anymore heavy pisces baby it could be like a pisces gonna text somebody all right that's been checking somebody out I feel like for some of you, you could have known this person from the past, like a Pisces from the past, or this is not a Pisces. It's just like, this person could be very intuitive themselves, like highly, like, especially if this is like a man, um, but it's going to be different because he's like more in touch with his like sensitivity or emotions, or I heard somebody could be like to like psychology or like health care or something like that with the magician here or like, um, somebody is like, again, this person could be a Pisces or a Gemini, but I feel like somebody could be trying to manifest you. And I'm also feeling like this could have been somebody that you connected to in the past. Not like this, not like saying that they, anything tr tr tremendous happened between the two of you, but it could just be like, again, something that's coming around that was on hold with the chariot. And now it's not heavy Pisces and cancer energy. And I feel like what's the outcome with this Pisces cancer or what's the outcome with this like, hmm. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? King of Pentacles. What is the outcome with this energy moving towards my collective? Mm. Jesus Christ. What's going on now? For some of y'all, again, it's something about you closing out a cycle with somebody. Oh, God. Be careful, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. With the Magician and the King of Wands. Okay, for some of y'all, because it almost, almost scared me there. 
some of y'all could have like somebody i don't know if it's like an earth sign and a fire sign coming towards you you got two different masculines baby we got a king of pentacles and a king of wands out here but both of them got the king of pentacles damn near seeming like he coming in already like already got a, a lot of shit going on like, i don't know if this person like went through like a betrayal or i would be careful if capricorn taurus virgo coming towards somebody again you're gonna get like a message from like a fire sign or like a earth sign be careful Queen of Pentacles. So, okay, we have the King of Pentacles and we got the Queen of Pentacles. What's going on with this King of Queen of Pentacles? Because this shit is confusing me. What's going on with this King of Queen of Pentacles? I want to know. Nine of Wands. Y'all could be like guarded towards somebody. Yeah, y'all could be like guarded towards somebody or like maybe somebody wants your forgiveness because it was showing that the King of Pentacles could have been somebody from the past sending me or a King of Wands. It could be an Aries Leo Sag or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. What is the outcome though? Like what the hell? This could be somebody who want to be loyal to you. I don't know if this person don't have enough though or somebody don't have like enough. Or they feel like they don't. With the two of cups. Okay, so somebody could want to be loyal to you. Okay. Now I'm somebody. So maybe give something a, a chance before you kind of like write it off. Let's see. What should you do? The lovers okay so yeah but the, okay the lovers and the ten of cups y'all because i was getting a little irritated i hope the hell up with the empath so yeah okay stay in this empath energy stay in a sweetheart energy stay true to yourself because you're going to get like a lover that's coming in and very loyal to you but it could come with like some form of distractions i ain't gonna i'm seeing more than one like energy and i'm feeling like you might have to like decipher like if something is for you or not and you're going to know if you listen to your heart like listen you're an empath so you could feel things on a deeper level somebody that you're going to know with the sun, something is going to be illuminated to you. And I'm just feeling like, again, you could have like an important choice to make in love with the lovers and the two of cups. Like, this could be a high level, like, something that's coming in. Obviously, somebody that's meant to, excuse me, obviously, someone that's meant to help you to heal with the king of queen of pentacles. But it was throwing me off because it was like a ten of swords that was there. I don't know what transpired. What is that ten of swords? What was that ten of swords? Let's say that this could be somebody that could make you very happy. Okay, so it could have been like a Queen of Wands energy, Two of Pentacles. I don't know if it was like a Queen of Wands that tried to interfere between you and someone's connection. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Um, this could have even been somebody. I don't know. With the Two of Pentacles, it could have been. I don't know if somebody got juggled or because that could usually be the Queen of Wands could be like a third party energy, but the Two of Pentacles that could be like a person who usually is like the you know what's going on with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. So I do feel like this is somebody who could be very bitter right now. Um, that could have been that Ten of Swords energy. I don't know if somebody like betrayed you for like an air sign or a fire sign. Somebody could have like had some form of like a sexual connection with somebody and it could have been like an air sign or a fire sign. And maybe somebody like now they're viewing you as like, okay, because somebody could have definitely had like a sexual connection with somebody who was like bitter. And, I, and I'm getting the way that the cars are fucking, that way that they came out, this could be like why karmics are watching you or like, I was like, who the hell is watching like, Okay, like I'm talking about all of them are watching you. I'm like, who are they talking? So it could be like maybe somebody went towards like a fire sign and an air sign. Or like, oh shit, now I'm about to see why that. Because it was like at first I was like, what is all of this going on? It could have been a thing where somebody was like, they they chose somebody else over you, or they were like almost indecisive about you because they had other options, or like, yeah. Now they see the truth. Now they see with justice here. Now they see. Now they see. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, you might not even want this person back, or maybe you never got with them, but they had a choice between you and somebody else, and they chose wrong. But for some of you, I do see that this could even be what somebody's realizing that actually, if they had they chose you, yeah, with the sun card here, Leo energy, something is being like illuminated to somebody. Had they chose you, they would have been like way happier, or like almost like something that would have been way more. It's giving like what, whoever, and again, it's like somebody's bitter, like these whoever this karmic is from the past, possibly that they know. Heavy Leo, we got the sun card and strength coming out right after. So, I don't know if you're a Leo or this person could be a Leo. Um, somebody's realizing Ace of Pentacles, who they should have gave this Ace of Pentacles to. Who they want to and who they are still planning to come towards with the shoes here. And they're going to walk there with the metamorphosis. And somebody may look different once you see them again or like the next time you see them. Or after this change that they've gone through with the devil card. Because somebody could have went through like a lot of toxic karmic energies. Almost trying to like feel your shoes. Almost trying to get that same feeling they got from you or that same type of, yeah, they can't. <laughs> It's the emperor who was in his toxic energy. Could have been a Capricorn or Aries, or you could be a Capricorn or Aries, or with the witch here, Dorothy, like the good witch type of energy. Energy. What the hell? Somebody could have like a lisp, because that would sound like Mike Tyson. <laughs> so somebody like with the hyperfin, they're getting a lot of. They're seeing that you are the good witch. I don't know if it was something going around about you being a witch. I don't know why that's coming up. Um, it says who are you on this card? So somebody could have been wondering like the truth about you. Who are you really? Are you the good witch, or the bad witch? They went towards the bad witch, the wicked witch of the West. He said the wicked witch of the West. Yeah, somebody went towards this emperor. You see how his clouds on his head. He doing a lot of brainstorming, baby. Yeah. 
about this ace of pentacles and why he was in this karmic ass energy and this is who's going through this metamorphosis and for some of y'all whether you want him back or not this is coming around because somebody is seeing that now yeah with you are somebody who walks close to the divine with dorothy and hierophant that's why you had to leave that environment. That's why you had to leave that relationship. That's why Source guided you to cut that person off, move in a different direction, whatever the case may be. And now people are seeing, after you remove yourself, Knight of Wands is all they was getting from people. They were running into people who were just like them. When you remove yourself, or when you was like, okay, you act like you don't know who you want to choose, and I'm going to choose me, okay? I'm going to invest in me. And that's the difference between these people, these karmics who wanted to be chosen. You didn't want nobody. You didn't want to be chosen. You was like, okay, I'm going to choose myself because it shouldn't be a choice seven of pentacles like yeah somebody was only investing in like knight of wands type of energy page of swords and now they watching you like oh i wish i would have should have could have would have motherfuckers been out here sleeping with my homies and shit behind my back and i i know the good i know the good yeah yeah you would have never done that literally now somebody's watching their ten of pentacles i'm here the born person that they want to have something long term with not watching you because they see that you were like oh for some of y'all you're very abundant or you're going to be but for, it's like they're watching you because they, they see that damn i could have had this like Damn, I could have been in Emerald City with this person. I could have been like, damn, like, what? And it's like somebody, it could be a Leo. You see this lion back here sulking. Somebody's like sad, like, or like, nine of pentacles, baby. Somebody see that you could be doing something by yourself. You're very independent and it's turning them on. Especially if they were confused about you before with this ace of pentacles, baby. I don't know if somebody wants to like steal some form of abundance that was here for you or slow it down heavy on it, like... Be, again, be careful when anybody is coming into your life. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like um, somebody could be trying to make it seem like they want to collaborate with you with justice, but you're still. It's, it's because you're getting justice now. Like people just want to all of a sudden like, no, now you you want to fuck with me now? Like yeah, okay. Type of energy. So for some of you, yeah, somebody you could have felt that like, damn, why do we feel like somebody doing like spell work over me, my love? <laughs> Cause they were. <laughs> I hate to tell you, tell you like that again. Uh, the Hermit and the Ace of Swords could have been like a Virgo. You could be a Virgo, but again, it's given like the truth is being revealed. Like eh, eh. the truth is coming. Out. You could have been in Hermit mode, but then that's when you got some form of like truth or a download. I heard somebody's gonna be getting a lot of karma. Like what? Like what? your karma is it, no people's karma. Shit, your karma is this: the, the lovers and the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. Like you're gonna be very, very emotionally happy. Could be a Gemini. It's like you're gonna be really happy with the outcome of something. Because somebody's gonna be so loyal. Um, and again, I do feel like, yeah, somebody was like trying to like stop this from coming in, stop you from maybe ending something with them. It could have been, I don't know if it was like a fire sign or somebody didn't want a fire sign to come towards you. Somebody from the past, again, like what is this King of Wands one? What is this King of Wands one? This could be like a Leo because we did keep seeing that. We got the messenger here. Somebody wants to message you. Like they want to tell you something. They want to communicate with you. What do they want to communicate? This Aries Leo says, could be an Aries, heavy Aries energy with this Emperor, heavy Aries. Or it could be a Gemini, but I do feel like this person has been trying to ma manifest you. Baby, look. Somebody feel like you match them with the strength part, but this person could be trying to gain the strength to come in and give you this offer. Um, okay, that makes sense with the Hierophant. They're feeling guided, though. They really could want, like, some form of forgiveness with that. Oh, okay, so this is, like, damn near a match for some of you. The Emperor and the Empress. Remember I said they feel like y'all are damn near twins. I just knew they, damn near, they look just like... So this could be, like, one of those relationships with the Ace People could even start seeing, like, y'all look alike. Or, like, maybe... I don't know. People could have said that if this is somebody that you were in a relationship with at one point. People could have been like, y'all look alike. Or y'all favor each other with the Will of Fortune. For some of you, though, this is destined to kind of come back around with the Knight of Cups. Somebody does want to, like, offer you their love or court you. Or, like, um, they have a crush. I'm hearing, like, somebody's crushing on this Empress. This Emperor. And this, for some of y'all, is somebody that maybe is meant to kind of, like, be in your life. Or something that's meant to come back around with this Will of Fortune. I just know that the full car here so don't be surprised when it's like something that you maybe forgot about or didn't even think was coming in with the ace of cups somebody may be telling you that they, their feelings for you are like growing what is this person like feeling what is this person feeling with the high priestess they're trusting their intuition what is this person feeling towards my collector that wants to come in I ain't gonna lie, they are feeling some form of regret about whatever happened in the past, and it definitely could have been something that maybe you saw as like a painful ending, a betrayal, even or like um. Something that left you kind of feeling like a little hurt for some of you. Am I going to even sugarcoat it? And this person could be like um, trying to trust your intuition on 
how they can move things forward. What is this person feeling? What does this person from the past want with my collective? What does this emperor energy want? They want to collaborate with you. This person does want to... A lot of threes here. Somebody could be like born on the third or the... Uh, I was definitely going to say something there. It's a star card. Somebody wants to heal something with you. They don't want to be in conflict with you. They don't want to be into it. They don't want to do you wrong. They don't have no form of like negative uh, uh, ulterior motives. And this person has been watching you with the page of swords. Like they... They like to watch you with the star. You are like a star energy. You bring a lot of healing for this person. I definitely feel like this could have been a player in the past or somebody who liked to like, they like to explore their options. And maybe many people couldn't get this person to settle down with the queen of pentacles. But I feel like you won't be the one to like damn near with, you see this chestnut checkers, baby? Like you damn near gonna get somebody to straighten them out. You're gonna straighten somebody out. And I'm not saying you should have to, but it's like maybe unintentionally, you didn't even know this was going on with the six of swords. Like you're helping somebody to almost like move themselves or want to change themselves into calmer waters or like, they're following like almost some form of path of enlightenment that maybe you could be on or that your light is helping you helping them to like go to with the page of swords because this is somebody like i said who watches you with the sun card here something about your light inspires them with the sun card and the and the um the star card clarify six of one four of wands baby somebody want a marriage or a relationship with you and the world card like i'm telling you that this person uh, Some of y'all don't even know. Yeah, it's this King of Pentacles. Remember at first I was kind of like, what's to this King of Pentacles? You, you keep showing us this Queen of Pentacles. So I'm knowing like King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Emperor, Empress. And again, this person wants to help you to heal. This person could have went through a heartbreaking situation from their past that maybe again, it may reminded them of you or you guys remind. I'm going to close out. I feel like I'm repeating the same shit, but uh, I heard uh, don't settle. Destiny. So some of you guys could be butterfly and that butterfly energy came out too on one of the cards. And so some point uh, it says you will meet a new love interest at a party or a night out. Some of you need to get out the house. You're on the right path. But it's like maybe you want to meet somebody new. For some of you, this, you don't want nobody back from your past. You, oh, shit. That is so uncalled for. You don't want nobody back from the past. Um, yeah, it says you're going to have to sacrifice something to get this. But don't we always... I hate reaching down and get stuff because I'll be feeling like big back, big back. <laughs> like I really hate it. So dressing up. So some of y'all may have to dress up. Yeah, soon. Somebody may want to take you on a date to help you. Like somebody, this new lover would relax here. They're going to really want you to relax. Like baby, I don't know if you were like really stressed out in the past or just currently. They're going to want to help you with that six of swords. They're going to want to help you to move into calmer waters to relax. Like to, to take some form of stress off your shoulders in whatever way that they can. Come on now. That's that King of Pentacles energy. Like, that's daddy energy, especially if it's like a Capricorn or like a Taurus. They're going to want to take care of you with trust here. Somebody going to want to really help you to like, I'm like hearing healing your trust issues. And this could come as a surprise to you that, and I'm also getting for some of you again, be careful because you could have people coming in that wanted almost like toxicity. Yeah, careful. Because yes, although I see like a match coming in for you, yes, you're going to have to almost like weed out the... With attraction you're in a very attractive energy right now where you're magnetic and you could be attracting good and negative energies so trust your intuition when it's telling you like to guard yourself from certain people because it's not sending you off i feel like a new adventure is coming your way with hideaway here so i don't know if some of y'all are like detaching to kind of like move into your own energy and almost like people could feel like you're hiding away from them like you don't want nothing to do with them after you like left a certain dynamic or like took your energy back um I, I feel like yeah with doorway again wow that came out didn't that come out earlier like sources opening new doors for some of you and for some of y'all these dreams these doors are leading you straight to your dreams fuck a love i mean shit hey, hey. speaking personally y'all <laughs> baby if y'all knew the type of dreams that i had love is like the last thing like no nah, not really i love a, a good love like i'm a hopeless romantic but baby i'm right now it's kind of giving like rihanna you know when she she knocked out her kind of like you know her dreams and her before she had them kids and got married or whatever you want to call it that she's doing right now and i love me some rihanna so that's a, that's a real business woman for your ass for some of y'all yeah you, you these doors are being open for you sources telling you to kind of pull back your energy because you need to focus on your dreams and aspirations right now and then shit yeah i ain't saying you can't have the whole fairy tale the whole nine y'all so, okay you can have the life the, the fairy tale love the the money the career but yeah for many of you your dreams are about to start coming true as these doors open so hell yeah you better walk through that door and it says imperfections as you are flaws and all you don't got to be perfect to go where you're headed to have your dreams align with you with long distance for some of you this could be like a long distance love that you and someone are going to make work because it says love knows no distance it transcends time and space for some of you yeah you and a lover could be like 
making something work with long distance. But people could have felt like you and this lover. I'm here, y'all proving people wrong. Baby, I almost knocked my whole chair off. Y'all proving people wrong with secrets here. So, so you and a lover could be keeping something on a low key, keeping something secret because you don't want people in your business. You understand that if you love something, you keep it to yourself. So I feel like, yeah, a lot of secrets could be coming to the light. Maybe you were in a long distance relationship with somebody and the secret started coming out. But I see the window of opportunity open. As that doorway opened, the window is open to a source. Like if you don't want to go through the door, go through the window. We're going to have two different exits for you, okay? So there's no excuse of as to why you're still stuck in situations that, yeah, yeah we're falling flat, falling fast. For some of y'all, it's going to be like you beat somebody new and you're going to fall fast for them. Or somebody's going to be falling fast for you than they even recognize. We got an ex here. So somebody's ex could be popping up. <laughs> I feel like somebody feel fast for you. Like, they feel faster for you than they realize. And again, it could be like an ex that's like going to be, like, salty. Like, damn, I was just with this person damn near, like, a year ago. Or here, like, seven months ago. What happened that quick? Like, somebody thought that they could come back whenever. And somebody damn near going to feel like they falling apart to see how fast somebody fell for you. Or, like, yeah, with illusions. Somebody's ex. I heard La La Land. Like, somebody could have had, like, toxic. Somebody had a toxic ex that's damn near going to be mad to see this person move on to you. Like, you could be the person that this more person is moving on to. Remember I was seeing, like, with that, that emperor energy? They kind of had, like, energies around them. Like, I'm, I'm feeling like or something that they went through that could have hurt them, too. People that were snakes to them, too. Things that they had their heart broke before. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Like, this emperor that's coming towards y'all. And whoever this ex was, this person could have thought that they had a hold on this person. And maybe they did at one point. But I'm telling you, when this person meets you, it's something about the way that they're going to fall so fast for you that... I heard like unexplainable, like they can't even explain it. Irrevocably, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with you. That's what Bella told Edward, like, okay, baby. She said I was unconditionally and irrevocably. So some, something is in a way that cannot be undone, okay? So I don't give a fuck what type of dirty ass, karmic ass, dusty ass person, lover, sibling, or practitioner, or reader was trying to send energy your way. Or ex. For some of y'all, this could have been like somebody's ex that was like into spell work. They could have hired like a practitioner to like fuck with your relationship. You and somebody's relationship. Because that's definitely what I'm getting to. Okay, bitch. Like, she gonna be she gonna be broke too. Like all y'all ass gonna be broke. And, and, and literally um with boundaries. Like somebody could have to like enable strong boundaries with like an ex that's gonna try to come back around. I heard once you see somebody's like moving on or he, it could be a male or a feminine. But I feel like once somebody sees that somebody's growing and healing from like a past relationship, they don't have like a stronghold on somebody or somebody could have not even saw that coming with baggage. Like this ex was somebody's extra baggage. Like, yeah, that's what somebody could even tell you. Um, Something comes with like somebody, somebody's ex was like very like delusional or something. Or this person could have been thinking like, oh, they could have this person when they wanted to. I could leave and then come back. And then like when they come back, like somebody going to be with somebody else. I'm here a long on, a long on. Okay. Because it's giving that energy of like when she said, when Bella, um, she went through the change. Okay. What did they say? The pause, the shift, the shift is in the pause. When she went through that damn shift, baby, and she turned into that damn vampire. It's even giving like, I got a couple examples for y'all asses. And she turned to that vampire and Jacob was damn near trying to be on some like, I don't know. He, he pissed her. He pissed off the wrong mommy that day. And he was like, those flushes you had for me like a couple days ago, they're, they're going right. And she said, oh, long gone. Like, yeah, baby, don't play. She was ready to take that man head off. I feel like that's how somebody's ass going to be feeling like so like flabbergasted. Like, how don't you like, I had, I had, I had a tight hold on you before like anything that i wanted from you i could get and like i don't know somebody is somebody gonna be surprised to see that somebody's setting boundaries with them to be with you because this person was very toxic and they could have been getting a toxic side of this person when they were with them but when they got with you they changed or they're growing or this is what's going to happen and again it's given like again somebody's gonna be like damn like you know like how how he is damn near giving like a lot of shit changed like within a matter of like a short time or something like that um and it's even given like when um, Elena was on her way back to Stefan. Y'all know I love you. Good vampire diary. So Elena was on her way back to Stefan. Was she not? And, and, and Damon had just asked her on the phone, like, okay, if it was between me and your boy, who would you choose? Like, he said, just, 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 you know, I get it. Like, he said, I get it. Like, you and you, you can want to go back to him or whatever. I get it. That is just like, it's not just about me and him. It's like Bonnie's out there. Oh, no, it wasn't that. He was like, um, Caroline's out there. Like, all of her friends were vampires. So if like one of them went, I think it had something to do with like all of them could have like, she would have lost more than one person. So he was just like, you know, if it was just between me and your boy, though, like, who would you choose? She told him, like, baby, look, you know, maybe if I met you first, you know, it's always been Stefan and it's going to always be stuff. But some she told him, like, that, you know, it's, it's Stefan. Like, I can't, you know, I'll, he, he's always had my heart. Some she, baby, look, she, she went over the damn bridge. I remember, like, bro, I think I'm not trying to, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you ain't watched The Vampire Diaries and you plan to, click off. Or you might want to skip this a little bit. Baby, when Rebecca ran that damn car off the road and she turned into that water and she turned into the vampire. Came out a new person. She, Stephen who? Stephen who? She told Stephen, I think I make you sad and I can't be with somebody like that. But girl, just two days ago, you was just, you was just on your way back to this man. <laughs> Anyways, so that could be the energy that like, somebody like, I don't know, it's somebody that could have, you could have thought that you would have never been with this person or you didn't have no feelings for this person or I would have never chose nobody else over my person. Like, I love my person. 
wait till you it's like it's given that i don't know something could like end up like in a way that somebody did not expect like all of a sudden like she she even said it like you know i feel like with it because i think he asked her like if you were a human would you still be with me and he was she was like no like damon if i was human i probably would still be with Stefan. i was on my way back to Stefan. but then she told him remember though she's like no matter what happened like as i was going over the bridge i found my way back to you somehow i always find my way back to you so for some of y'all this could be like somebody unexpected that you fall for somebody that you didn't even think that you were going to be with or that you you know with proposal and unseen oh lord oh lord oh <laughs> oh lord oh lord unseen a proposal baby it could be saying sex, excuse me, that's 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 the unseen card. It could be saying sex with two women on this card. For some of y'all, I mean, you you won't be surprised with the way, like, something. And I feel like this new person will be more nurturing to your needs, your desires, your wants. And it's like, this is going to be what kind of, like, makes you fall faster than you expected. Like, somebody could have been very dismissive in the past or very, like, almost, like, emotionally unavailable or, like, very uh, toxic. And it's like, you may not even see this coming, but it's going to be like a proposal. Somebody may be proposing to you quicker than they expected. Um, let me see. Cause I'm y'all already know I love me a good vampire diary. Yeah, this is the scene. So Jared's playing art school. In life, I made some huge mistakes. Being with you wasn't one of them. And yes, I had a lot of compel away my love for you. And yes, I did love Stefan once. The night I died, Matt was driving me back to him. Y'all, sorry, I'm in love with this show. And yet I found my way back to you. I'm saying, yeah, I found my way back to you. Damon, I somehow always find my way back to you. And if you remember in the show, she met Damon so I don't know if it's like something about somebody that you met first or maybe you met somebody when like you were kind of like I don't know in a very confused place or in this transition stage and things just went totally different than you were expecting or just maybe somebody again I feel like it's it's like an ex somewhere that's kind of going to be like caught off guard this ex could be like more in a I don't male or feminine like because what your memories or not it doesn't matter if I'm a vampire or not <sighs> I'm just saying that because you can't change what you are Oh, Damon, I don't care what human me would have done. Because she's not here. I am. You went through a rebirth. And if the past is a place without you and me together, then stop living in it. So something about stop living in the past, something about moving forward, and it could be with somebody new. And this is like the talk that you and this person are going to have of like, I know what it felt like not having you in my life, whether I didn't know you at the time or I did, and I don't want to go back to that. I know what it felt like, you know, when I was dealing with other people and I did not get this feeling that I get from you. No matter what transpires between the two of us, what happened, it's something about somebody feeling like, again, they were destined to meet you or you guys are going to be destined to meet each other. Like she said, it doesn't matter what I did when I was human or in the past, I somehow always make my way back to you. So it's something about you and somebody like having like an unbreakable, almost like the, the red string of fate, like something was fated to come around wow with star and together like you guys are damn really faded it's given like it's written in the stars it's written in the stars and some of y'all just could come as a surprise that you and someone are actually fated to be together or like um it's like the stars are aligning for some type of type of love to come into your life and i do see it again for some of you it could be like a bitter ex that's kind of gonna be like uh, a troubled ex or something like that or just feeling some type of way but i just feel like she can't he can't stop anything that's coming in with the wish i'm, I'm trying to tell y'all it's giving like wish on a star, stars aligning, like something it was a wish fulfillment. Sparks, like there's a lot of like sparks. It could be something about the 4th of July. Um, you could be meeting somebody on the 4th of July um, with Twin Flame here. Yeah, it's giving like the MG. Some of y'all, I saw that that, that energy with the two, two, three, two, three, two people on the card that look just alike that I was seeing with twins. Um, it could be a Twin Flame connection that's coming in for some of you. And I ain't gonna lie, somebody was in my comments the other day talking about some, why would you call them Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb? That is so disrespectful. Are you... I see who the real Tweedledee and Tweedledum is. I swear to God, like I be, I be, I be so like, I be trying to see. It's like, are you joking? When I be reading y'all comments, sometimes I'm like, it gotta be a joke, or somebody ain't finished school or something. Like, anyways, I'm not even finna like, bro. Some of y'all gonna have to like get a fucking grip, bro. Go outside, touch some grass, eat it if you got to. Like, bro, but chill the fuck out is all I know. It literally said Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb on the card. And I mean, arguing me to the ground, talking about some no, you were saying that. 
and then wonder why y'all ass be single and miserable. And then some, let me, let me shut up because God is not going to, God is not pleased with that. <laughs> because some of y'all be testy. Let me just show y'all though, tweedle D and tweedle dumb though, just so you can know that like, nigga, I'm not on here making fun of y'all. Like, I don't, you probably can't even see it all the way, but it's, I didn't pull that out my ass. Like, are y'all okay? Is everything okay up here in the cranium? Because I swear some of y'all be blowing me. When I be reading the comments, I be like, is this what comes with like damn near like getting more, being seen more, getting more people to like tap in with the videos. Like I'm just seeing now it's going, <sighs> everything comes with something. So it's just, yeah, it comes with the territory, I guess. But y'all going to have to chill the fuck out because 10 of Pentacles, yeah, I guess I'll leave it there and chill the hell out. Okay. And I might. Right ear is ringing loud as fuck. Like, yeah, some of y'all finna walk straight into, like, this Emerald City energy. A lover that's long-term or some form of long-term wealth or just being blessed, period. And I feel like it goes hand-in-hand -hand with, like, love and, like, um, some form of emotional fulfillment and, like, maybe financial gain as well. Yeah, 100%. It's, like, somebody who could have been practicing spell work or, like, some form of, like, a dark energy, a dark practitioner or somebody. They didn't want you to get this shit. The Ace of Pentacles, literally. It's something about money. Money money and this could be unseen with the transformation card like this could be really unseen with the moon and the trans what about the chest chest side or cat somebody could have like a really wide ass smile or something that's unseen though and you don't even see this form of abundance that's come with the hangman so, so some of y'all this was slowed down or it was on hold but i'm hearing like not no more it could be a king of wands that's coming in for somebody here's leo said and this person gonna be wanting to be really baby and they gonna want to that 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 power wine on your ass they gonna wanna something about that that emperor mm, wine that magic wine that magic stick and this person could have a really good sex game i ain't gonna lie and this could have been like damn near what got these fem feminists whoever this bitch is look how she looking she's salty as hell somebody could have like a lot of tattoos or like they got tattoos and like um somebody i heard somebody thought that they were like they they they, they somebody chose them over you or because they looked better or something like that don't even know that somebody could mm. Anyways, for some of y'all, like, you could have, like, a king of wands that want to come in. For some of you, this is somebody who, like, they could have a really good sex game. I feel like this person has been keeping themselves in hermit mode. This could be, like, a Virgo or a fire sign. Or a heavy Leo, baby. I'm telling y'all. Some of y'all, some of y'all, Leo or Aquarius, could, like, or or earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got the king of pentacles. You could be this king of pentacles, four of wands. Something about, like, a new house or commitments. The star card, healing, and a lot of illuminations. The star and the sun, a lot of illumination. A lot of light, a lot of brightness, a lot of happiness. Queen of Pentacles, definitely feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So we got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And it's giving like you and your person going to be on some this is chess, not checkers type shit. Checkmating motherfuckers from the past. It's going to be like, damn, when this happened? How? Yeah, literally. Like this is coming together. Uh, you don't want to be late for the very important date. So it's something about a date. Like somebody going to want to take you on a date. Somebody going to be getting left out in the cold. Like I feel like somebody going to be like feeling like... I don't know if somebody could feel like somebody took their person from them or like um, somebody's waiting with the will of fortune. Like this person, whoever this king of pentacles, king of wands energy is, they're like waiting on like a, a opportunity for a door to open or like to collaborate with you. Somebody could even tell you like at first they want to start off as friends or they want to kind of like keep it friend on a friendship level with the will of fortune. And I feel like many of you could be like feeling intuitively that something new is coming in for you or again, something that's coming back around with the will of fortune that... I do feel like it is meant to come back around or it's destined to come back around with the high priestess. So trust your intuition. Trust yourself on what it's telling you to go towards or who it's telling you to go towards. With the devil. You definitely could be like a Capricorn or dealing with one. Or it's like trust your intuition when it's telling you to like who to release or like karmic energy. Or this could be like two Capricorns with the king and queen of Pentacles With the world card. That's also like Capricorn energy. Leo and Capricorn because it's like Saturnian energy. I feel like especially when it pertains to closing out karmic cycles, the devil, the world, and the death card, trust your intuition. Like, it's going to tell you six of swords, how to get to this, like, space that you need to be to defeat some form of, like, low vibrational energy, this jabberwocky energy, like, karmic energies. Like, it's, it's teaching you or telling you where to go, which road to go down that's going to lead you towards the ultimate wish fulfillment. And again, I'm getting, like, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, baby. Something very long-term and stable, comfortable, and just very, like, meant to be in, in your life. Again, with the ten of cups, and it, we had all the tens. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, ace of, for this empath, whoever you are. Literally. So, I just feel like trust your guidance, trust where you're being led, because you're going to be able to... See. Again, it's like life is a gift, and now the gift of life is ready to give back to you. 
So and just be prepared as you are this empath, two of cups again, like to be loved the correct way, to be poured into the correct way with the Knight of Cups and the Empress again. And then you manifested all of this with the magician. So that is the reading, you guys. I truly do hope that it resonated with you guys. Um, you deserve this. Take these leaps of faith. Again, if this is like a lover that's coming towards you, something about somebody can have like a lizard or a gecko. Or somebody likes birds or fishes. Lizard, geckos, for fishes, or like it represents like fertility as well. Somebody could be a twin. Um, again, twin flame. But I feel like this is coming in the future for some of you. And again, it's giving like chess, not checkers. You could not even be telling people how you moving or like who you choosing to go towards. Like you could act like you were you were focused on one thing, but whole time you 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 focused on something totally different. And that's what's gonna throw people off because they didn't see it coming. So keep on like enabling boundaries, protecting what you want, and it's gonna bring you this justice in. So yeah, trust your intuition with the lovers. Like you literally, your justice is coming through like your love life or something and your finances. So like, share, and subscribe with the Wheel of Fortune. Like this is so destined. Justice is destined for you to get divine justice, okay? Literally. So like, share, and subscribe because you deserve this, baby.